Just a quick and dirty little video for uh, getting the intake ready. Been building some intakes, getting them ready to be welded. Here is the mocked up prototype for the tunnel ram for the black car, uh, 53 drag race car on it, which is a 289 full flow block board over 60, Ross forged flat top pistons, Howard connecting rods, all fully prepped and all that. And what this is is a 340 Chrysler intake tunnel ram by Wyand and I've cut the runners on it and built some plates. Uh, the plates are still in the mock-up stage on here. I will be uh, trimming the corners on them, making them pretty, and actually cutting some of the center out. Uh, I took a top that was actually destined for a, a Hemi, which was the single quad top instead of the two four-barrel top. Uh, sectioned it so it would bolt on properly. Have a little riser on it with a Power Ejection 3 fuel injection setup. Uh, the Power Ejection 3, I like it because it has a different map sensor in it that I can run boost to it. So I can blow 30 pounds of boost into it without a problem. And it's got an extreme velocity uh, uh, cast aluminum uh, intake hat that I can hook up to the supercharger. So I'll just kind of break this apart so you can see what it looks like. You know, you take the top of it off. And it just what's interesting about this Power Ejection 3 is it looks like a four barrel. But... It's actually got a computer in the inside and the regular fuel supply lines and all that. When you take it off and take a look at it underneath, you can see that there's actually basically four injectors on here. And with the, the injectors, what I'm able to do, oops, what I'm able to do is to set this over here so it's out of the way that it'll fall out broken. What I'm able to do with the four injectors is actually go to a the five liter Mustang crowd and get some uh, bigger injectors that can handle the E85 extra fuel flow rate necessary. And then once you get down here, you take the carb gasket off. And then what I've got next is a MagnaFuel anti reversion. This is meant for some of the higher speed applications on it. What this is is a carburetor adapter plate. It's a little, not too big a riser plate, but it actually has some extensions that match up to the Venturi's. And when you go inside, what it does in a tunnel ram application is it actually uh, breaks up the reversion pulses so they don't uh, affect anything. And then I've got a rubber gasket that'll pop off real fast here. Sorry, I don't have three hands. Should have put the helmet mount on and worn a helmet, and I could probably see what was going on a little easier. Okay, and then once that's off, you can see here's the plate that I've been working on. Uh, the plate's opened up on the inside, so you get a nice opening where it runs across. Hasn't been welded yet, but what I did do is I incorporated the return spring, and this is going to be for the throttle bell linkage on it, so that'll be welded on there. And you can see where I sectioned the two pieces to put them back together to get the right spread on it. Everything has been port matched inside. And from that, it actually is going to make out, make out being a nice manifold. So that's what it looks like when I get everything all hooked up, set up, and run on the car. It'll be ready to go. So talk to you a little later. Have a good one. Later. Bye.